Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. If you haven't seen by the title already, this video today is going to be a what's in my purse or what's in my handbag. So here she is and guys, this is going to kind of be like an everyday essentials and what I kind of use on an everyday basis. I don't use this for work. So if you guys want to see what's in my work bag, just comment down below and I'll be sure to make one for you guys. So starting out, I'm going to just start off with the bag. So this bag is the Louis Vuitton, uh, sorry, Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag. I believe it's in the size 30. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's the monogram Louis Vuitton original print, as you can see here. Um, and yeah, it's just the canvas style with the leather detailing. So all the handles um, and the ribbing down the side of the bag is all leather as well. And all of the actual detailings um, on the bag as well. So all like the little metal bits, they are all gold. So all the little... Um, I don't even know what you call these little handles. I don't know. Um, and the zippers and stuff, it's all gold. So that's just a quick overview of the bag herself. I have had this bag for probably, I would say, three years now. My fiance bought this for me on our first Christmas together, which is really sweet. And I believe these retail, I think he paid about... Or I would say it was around 2,800 Australian dollars, so AUD. Um, but in saying that, guys, this is my only designer bag that I own at the moment um, because I just don't feel the need to get another one. This bag honestly goes with everything. You can really dress her up and you can really dress her down. Um, and I just feel like you can, yeah, like you can go casual with her. You can go really um, dressy. So you can really do a lot, whole lot and dress this bag and style this bag in a lot of ways. So yeah, that's why I kind of lean towards this one. Um, quickly, just to add this bag it does come with a shoulder strap which just looks like this. So again, it's just got the Louis Vuitton gold detailing. Um, it's just a leather strap. You can adjust it on both sides. So if you want shorter or longer, and yeah, it just clips onto these two little hinges on the side of the bag, but I haven't really been using it for the moment. I just don't feel the need um, to really use it. I've just been kind of holding the bag like so. So let's get into the video. So starting out, it's just a zipper to open the bag. So it's quite easy to open. And you guys, this bag, I don't know if you can see, holds so much. Like it's deceiving how much you can fit in this bag, which is what I love about it as well. This bag only has one zipper, which is this one right here. So opening that up, I have nothing in it. <laughs> as I said, like I, really don't even know what's in here at the moment i've just kind of chucked everything in um, as i've gone throughout the month so yeah hopefully there's not too many surprises but usually i'd keep the lock in there for this bag this bag does come with a lock but i don't have it in the bag as the moment i believe it's in the box um but yeah so the first thing i would have in my bag is my phone um, yes, it's just the phone case at the moment because my phone is downstairs on charge and yeah, I really need it because I am going out soon. So I would have my mobile. I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So yeah, that's that. Um, feels so weird just showing you a case, like who cares? Um, the next thing I have sitting in here is a scrunchie. I always tie up my hair. It's just something that I always do. I'm actually going to do it right now. Please excuse me. But when my hair isn't done, like it's like right now, I literally haven't done my hair. I just scrunch it up and chuck it up in a bun like this. Yes, it doesn't look great, but it works for me. Um, so yeah, scrunchie. Always in need of a scrunchie, if not two or three in my bag at once. But yeah. Times like this when my hair is annoying me and it's not done, chuck it up. The next thing I have in my bag, this changes quite a lot. Um, it's just the current book that I'm reading. So this one's Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. You guys would have seen um, in my last vlog when I bought a whole bunch of her books. Uh, but this one I've only just started. I'm literally like 20 pages in. But yeah, so far I don't really have an opinion on it because 
feel like I'm 20 pages into the book. I can't really have an opinion on it, can I? But anyway, yeah, so I'll always have a book in my bag because when I have a spare minute, especially when I'm out or I'm going for a drive up the coast or something like that, I will have my book. So the next thing I have in here is a portable charger. This one, I don't remember where I got it. I think it was just from Officeworks or Target or Big W, something like that. But this I can usually get two chargers out of. So I always keep this on me um, in case, especially if I'm going on like a long drive or something like that. Um, so I can charge my phone. So yeah, this one's just the pink one. And yeah, I'll get about two charges out of it. I don't even know the brand. It says console on it, but it's quite old, but it still works for me. So that's what um, I ensure I have on me. The next thing I have is just some replenishing hand cream from Koi. This is my favorite hand cream ever. I have literally tried so many hand creams and I haven't come across any better hand cream. This one also comes in a few different flavors or scents. Um, so the other scent I have in my car and then this one, I keep, it, sorry, I keep burping. Um, I keep in my handbag. So that's that. Oh, I forgot, but this is realistic because this is a realistic what's in my bag. I usually would have my car key in here as well, like my car keys, my house keys, but they're downstairs at the moment. But just imagine they were in here as well with the phone. <laughs> the next thing I have is my Apple AirPods. So they just look like this. They're the new generation ones. So yeah, if I wanna to listen to music, I always um, make sure that I've got those on me. I've got a little plane sticker on here, which is kind of cute. Um, the next thing I have is a pen, actually. I think I've got, no? Oh yeah, I've got two pens. So these ones are just from Typo. Um, super cute and just, yeah, I always need a pen on me if I need to write things down. Um, yeah, I just make sure I have pens on me. Uh, the next thing I have is just a Nivea Hydro Care lip balm. It's pretty boring. Um, the next thing I have is my wallet. Listen to that. <laughs> oh my gosh, just change. Um, but yeah, I won't show you too much on this side, but it's just got all credit card holders along there. So I've got my license, credit cards. Um, I've got my Zarafa's loyalty card because I drink so much Zarafa coffee. It's ridiculous. Um, then inside I've just got coins, loyalty cards. That's pretty much it. Like there's nothing too crazy in here or exciting. So I always ensure I have that on me, my wallet. The next thing I have is this glasses case. Funny story about this case, guys. I had really nice Gucci Sunnies probably about a year ago now. And I was at the gym doing a workout and I had chucked the Sunnies onto my car seat and sat on them and crushed them. So now I don't spend more than $100 on Sunnies because it's not worth it in my opinion. But the Sunnies I have in here, these ones are just from Kmart. Keeping it real. So they're just these black knockoff. I think they're meant to be like a knockoff of the, um, oh, what are they? I don't even remember the brand. You guys probably know what I mean, but they're meant to be a knockoff of these designer sunnies, but they're really comfortable and they're really good and I get a lot of use out of them. So I was like, I think these cost me five or $6 from Kmart. So yes, if you don't shop at Kmart in Australia, go grab these, they're great and I love them. Um, the next ones I have are just these Quay Sunnies. So I think I paid about 90 bucks for these. Um, but they're just these tortoiseshell ones. These are polarized, but yeah, they're just a different look. So if I'm feeling something different, I'll chuck these on. But yeah, I keep the Gucci case only because it's a hard case and the Quay Sunnies and these Sunnies didn't even come with the case. So it's just easy for me to be able to keep them safe so they're not gonna get crushed like my Gucci Sunnies did. Cool. So moving on, I've got a random gloss in here. This is the Coco K Kylie Gloss. Fun fact about me, I literally do not use any lipstick on my lips at all. It's either lip balm or gloss. So that's that. 
Um, the next thing that I have in here is just a all-lip oil. This is the Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. Love, love, love this. It has to be my all-time favorite like lip product. Um, and the shade of it is just stunning. Looks really dewy on the lips, so it makes your lips look really plump. Right now, I'm just wearing a Kylie lip gloss. I think it's this one here, which is Diva. Um, so, oh, there's only one more thing in here, guys. So this is just another pair of glasses, but these are my, oh, they're so dirty. If you can see how dirty they are. These are my blue light glasses. So I am sure that I have these on me because I do do a lot of um, texting on my phone or editing like videos or whatever. And also when I'm studying, so I keep these on me at all times. So I'm able to wear them when I need to. So that's them, they're pretty cute. I don't know, they're like a nudie color. So that's that. So yeah, that's it guys. That's literally everything that's in my bag. As I said before, I would usually have my car keys in here, but they are downstairs at the moment as well as my mobile. But that's it, that's a realistic um, view of everything that's in my bag. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, like, share, and subscribe. I know it's a quick one, but I just thought it would be fun to show you guys what I keep in my bag. Bye.